Ruby in Normal. <laughs> hey guys, this is Ezadi from Blender for Business. Hello YouTubers. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you animation node with Metaball, like your saw in the video. Okay. Um, first let me get my screen cursor key on. Um, quick. Click one so you guys can follow up on this tutorial. Okay, um, let's get this meta ball going. Okay, first the meta ball, then um, I'm gonna split this to so I can get my animation node on. I'll start a new node tree and I'll first add a objects instance. Uh, let me get this close. Um, I drop on the meta ball. Um, get this to um, let me get Teddy. As you can see here, Teddy has been added. Teddy meta balls. So um, we are going to make this move with a vector wiggle node. And um, let me get it. Counts on. Gotta add this to counts, and now we have a get length. And um, I'm also gonna get this output of the XYZ location. So I'm adding my transform output node, and then turn on the XYZ um, location. Add this objects to the uh, to the objects, and um, the vector to the XYZ location. As you can see here, uh, we have this weird circles around. Um, let's show this by uh, taking on a copy full object. And now we have our Teddy Meta Balls. And um, I know now you're guessing how do you make this move. You can just make this move by um, Playing with your evolution settings, um, keyframing it, but um, we have an easier way of doing this. I'm gonna be adding a time info node, so it's gonna be moving uh, with the time frame here. So when I click on play, you see it's moving. Uh, we've gotten the first stage of this, and uh, you can stop here if you want to, um, but we have some other things um, to play with, like the scale. Uh, let me turn on the scale on because um, we'll be playing with the scale right now. I'm going to be adding a uh, number wiggle here, and um, the time info goes to the evolution. And uh, we'll be adding a, a vector combined node because this what goes to the scale here. As you can see, it's all scaled down. And uh, you go here, you go here, you go here. You see, uh, this looks weird, and this is where I'm gonna be playing with um, my meta ball settings. Um, but first of all, let me add a, a map range on here so we can give it a, a maximum and a minimum. We can give the scale the maximum and minimum size. Uh, the input minimum should be 1.2, and um, the maximum, let's give it a 1.8 and the output minimum um, about the same maybe let's do this 1.3 and then maximum uh, 1.8 okay now we have this i think these meta balls let me tweak this meta ball settings so real quick um i'm giving my render settings 0.03 and uh, my viewport is 
viewport resolution 0 0.1 and uh, influence threshold uh, I want to I want to give it this uh, liquid fuel like you saw and this is what does it uh, 1.75 see now we have this liquid like metabolts okay um, this is it this is basically um, everything the whole node settings uh, there's something if you look in the middle um, the actual the original metabol doesn't move stays one place so we're gonna make that move by uh, Getting this object transform output, we don't need the scale anymore. And, um, we are going to put it the objects to the meta ball, and let's get this vector wiggle duplicate again. Um, we are going to add it to the location rotation and um, the time info. Um, We'll be setting it to the evolution. Okay. And now if it moves right in the middle here. So I'm gonna be giving this a speed of um it's moving slow. I don't like the movement right now. 1.1 and the amplitude um x axis seven the y six and the Z um, 7 and now we have a more crazy first metabols moving and let me do that to the original metabol too 7 6 and 7 and the speed of um, 1.11 I just like the number 1.11 and you can set it anything to any number you want to tweak it and maybe uh, set this octave to 3 and 3 you can just play with the settings and um, the way you want your metabolics to look let me give it a quadratic interpolate okay I think I'm good with my metabols and this is how I want my metabols to be so um, let's get to the shading and that's where I did the tweaking on um, making my metabols look like that sci-fi sci um, water Okay, um, I'm done with my animation now, so let's get to the shader editor and um, let me get this screen into two so I can have, have my rendered view over here. Okay, uh, I think the scene has no light, so um, let's get a quick environment texture HDR. Um, I got from HDR Heaven. Uh, we can turn on the ray visibility. We can add some ambience. And, um, Okay, this is where the shading. I think let me just turn off this ambience and now, and I'll do that later. Okay, let's get this meta ball in material uh, by adding a new material and use the principle BSDF was added. So we start by um, increasing the transmission to about um, 0 0.9, 0 
0.98 mm. Okay, the roughness down. I don't think I need the roughness um, yet. The base color, I'm giving it a very light blue. Uh, this new viewports, um, where is my render set? The new view, viewport is noisy. Um, let me just turn it off. I think it's giving me some weird. Okay. So, first, um, I'll be giving a new shader, the emission shader. Let's get it here, and uh, we'll be adding a mix shader by mixing these two up. And um, I'm gonna use color ramp for the factor of the mix shader. No, why did you do this? Okay, make color to the factor. And, uh, mix it up a little bit so you can actually see the both shaders then this is where I'll be playing with some textures uh, first add a noise texture and let me get this up close um, get a noise texture to the color to the factor and um, let's give it a scale of 0 0.1 and um, detail of 16 with a, a distortion of a bottom um, let's make this um, 30 points seven okay um, can see the little details I know you'll be wondering what is this um, if you have a node wrangler uh, let's put on the mapping and the, and the texture coordinates get it to objects to vector and you can see we're going somewhere now um, but we are not yet done because uh, I'll be adding a math note math and uh, put it on multiply and I'll um, be multiplying this by 7.6 and this is how I got this um, see this texture um, let's get this emission to about 175 and now it looks so 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 bright um, let's take the color ramp a little bit okay now it's mixed up real good then um I'm gonna be playing with the roughness right now, so let's just um, copy this. Uh, rather, let me get this to up, and uh, we'll be adding a overnight texture to this. Get it to the vector. Get a color to a. Uh, the roughness and um, but this mass this time around we, we're changing this mass to about a 38.9 as you can see this is where the magic happens a little so um I think I need this color ramp too yeah okay so with this color ramp we can actually manipulate how rough this is 
So um, let me leave it above here. Yeah? And um, oh, let me get back my optics. As you can see, this is this is the effect, and this is what I did. You can also play with um, you can play with some few settings like um, the scale. Let me give it a 1.4. 1.4 on the noise texture mapping on um, um, the you can you can also play with the location rotation um, the location just tweak this till uh, you get your desired um, look just keep playing with this mapping and, uh, you can also play with this too um, to get the, uh, the right texture you need okay like um, let me let me let me tweak this scale so I can to 1.2 um, this about 29 and, uh, and this about 32. can see I have this liquid some magical water fuel and um, I didn't okay you can change this color to a blue that's what I did and add a blue give it a different kind of blue maybe you can do yours red green golden whatever you want to do just play with yeah. this color here and you get your this is it guys um this is it so you can set up your camera and render this You can just render this and um, and we're good. This is my first YouTube tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you want to get more of this content. Okay, um, I really appreciate and um, your feedbacks will really be appreciated. Okay, tell me what I can improve and what content you love to see more. Thank you.